I've been keeping this a secret for a couple of months now. Hello you guys. I'm so excited to finally share this news with you guys. Um, I've been keeping this a secret for a couple of months now and I've been dying to tell you guys but I didn't really want to say anything until everything was set in stone and so I kept it a little secret but I'm just going to explain briefly right now before playing the moving vlog of kind of like the backstory of everything so just after the new year literally right after i wrote my new year's goals and resolutions i just had this sudden urge to travel like i was just like you know what like i just really feel like leaving and going to live in a new place like i just like really had that inner burning desire and that urge and it just kind of all came like a wave at once and not only that but i was just feeling super stagnant and kind of like i was just like living the same day over and over again and i was craving a change like it just kind of happened all of a sudden where i kind of realized that i outgrew the apartment i realized i outgrew that chapter of my life and i had that same feeling that i felt like when i first moved into the apartment which was like i was yearning to open that new chapter of my life and that's exactly what i did getting the apartment and so our lease was up at the end of february but me and jewel kind of talked about it because he had the same kind of desire to travel too we kind of talked about it and we're like you know what we don't know what to do because this would be such a big like decision for us to make just like up and pack our stuff and leave so we're like you know what like usually when we make a big decision like this we get a sign from the universe so we just kind of made the decision when we had the conversation to leave it in the hands of the universe and we're like you know what this is meant to be the universe will give us a sign and it'll all unfold the universe will give it to us on a silver platter so we just kind of let it be and let go of it so it is currently january 2nd and i just wanted to document this moment because me and joel kind of just have this sudden urge and we both kind of thought of it and we really want to move to this year we were completely sure that we were going to re-sign our lease for at least another year but like something just clicked in us and we have the urge to move somewhere <laughs> so i just thought that i would document this moment so if i make a video like moving you can put this in there not sure how it's gonna work just yet sometimes that's how it is we'll let the things unfold and if it works out then it's meant to be it feels meant to be let's see and then on january 6th at 11 p.m i get an email my landlord emails me and he lets me know that we cannot resign our lease because he's going to be moving into the unit and i was just like so shocked in that moment you guys like i did not expect that to happen whatsoever because i always thought that like we would have the control whether we're leaving or not and the fact that like it wasn't even a thought in my brain that we could ever get kicked out like that i was just like my jaw dropped when i got that email and at first i was just like sad and like i didn't know what to think i was just in shock like soon after i realized and i'm like oh my god like this was the sign from the universe that we asked for and it's just crazy how it all unfolded in the timing of that um how it all like happens so after we got that email obviously we could still decide to stay in the area if we wanted to and we could have just gone and rent another apartment that would be kind of like the easy route but then also doing that it's like we're still staying stagnant it's still basically the same thing but that's not what our souls wanted but yeah so me and joel decided that we are going to be leaving and we are going to be living abroad i'm not gonna say where yet because that will be shown in the next video i post i'm not posting next week so it's gonna be two weeks until my next video just because transition time and everything stay tuned for that video because you guys are not gonna want to miss where we're going so put your post notifications on it's somewhere that we've never been doing this is honestly like really scary and uncomfortable for us but what we've learned from our past like actions and stuff and decisions is that the scarier the decision the bigger the reward every risky decision that we've made in our life has always paid off times like a million moving into the apartment was honestly a risky decision we were kind of scared to do it because obviously it was our first time moving out but it like paid off big time and i wouldn't be where i'm at today if we didn't move out so when we think of it in that way we're like the universe is literally leading us here and we have to follow the path because it's like okay you want to exceed you want to start the next chapter of your life then you have to do something scary you have to step out of your comfort zone and you have to change something and that's exactly what we decided to do and we couldn't be more excited the hardest part is honestly just like taking that leap of faith but then once you do you're like damn like i 
couldn't imagine if I didn't do that. But yeah, we're officially moved out of the apartment. You guys will see the moving process in the vlog. Currently, we're at my parents' house, just staying here in the meantime. By the time you're watching this video, though, I am, I think, leaving so yeah the last couple of videos that you watched on my channel they were pre-filmed and i was at my parents house but i moved back into my room i'm just keeping like my personal belongings here so they let me kind of move my stuff back in because obviously we're just going to be like traveling with a suitcase so i can't like hold all my stuff in it so they let me like put my extra clothes here and stuff so this is going to be our home base so if we ever need to come back for like a couple of weeks it'll be here so we're not actually going to have a place in like vancouver anymore because we're going to be living abroad like full time and we're gonna kind of go like month to month places but i'll explain it more in my next video as for my content goes i'm so excited and i have so many ideas of what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna turn into a travel channel uh, at least not in the near future because i still am gonna make like the same type of content it's just gonna be like different scenery and it's not gonna seem very repetitive anymore so i'm really excited about that and i'm really excited on what this adventure is has to bring and i'm so grateful to you guys for supporting and watching my videos like it means the absolute world to me you guys are the reason why i'm able to do this and able to work remotely and thank you literally from the bottom of my heart but yeah i just can't believe I'm, this is actually happening it doesn't even feel real yet that we're leaving but the whole process is going to be documented so stay tuned and go follow me on instagram i'm going to be posting more on there on tiktok and all my social medias but anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video i love you guys so much and thank you so much for your support it honestly means the world and i read every single one of your comments even if i don't respond to it i read every single one so just thank you but anyways it's really sad closing a chapter but it's necessary to open a new one so stay tuned for where i'm moving <laughs> I'm just gonna start packing with my Alex 9 drawer set here just because this has a bunch of like my camera things I'm just gonna put this all in one box to move because I'm gonna take this with us to my bedroom back at home And there's probably a lot of things also in here that I can get rid of so skincare everyday skincare in here so that i can just take it with me and then everything else um, that i can just unpack at my parents is going to go in a box and then we'll figure it out from there but i gotta do all this shelving hopefully i can get rid of some things that i don't really use but it's sometimes hard to get rid of things because you're always wondering like oh what if what if i use it in this case scenario but it's like i'm moving abroad so i have to just purge I have to be better at getting rid of my shit. Worst comes to worst, if I take too much stuff over to my parents, I can always just get rid of it there. And when I'm unpacking, get rid of more stuff. So it's not like a lot of pressure right now, but I'm gonna try to get rid of as much as I can while we're unpacking.
So here's the current state of the apartment. I just have Love Island on because I was watching that while packing. But yeah, the mirror is all packed up. The couch is just a mess, gotta redo that. But over here we have some garbage bags with Joel's clothing. I still haven't even done my clothing, but what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna just shove it in garbage bags so that I, it's so easy to transport that way. So I'm gonna do that last minute. Just because there's just no room in here right now to create more mess. So I'm just gonna do that once everything else is out. And yeah, got the whole office packed up. This is ready to go. Coming out here, we got Home Depot boxes array. Got the whole kitchen packed up. And yeah, just a couple random things that we need to do tomorrow. But other than that, everything is packed up. You guys, this is giving me like major flashbacks of when we first moved in and like the house was looking like this because we were unpacking. This is just like crazy how it feels like our time here went by like that. It's so hard to explain, but a year is not a lot of time like in the grand scheme of things. It just feels like this chapter of our life, we outgrew it so quickly and it just feels like we were just moving in like i was literally getting flashbacks and it was making me kind of sad i don't even know like i'm just like weird mindset right now like my head's in the clouds right now because like this still doesn't really feel real hey guys so i'm just unwinding for the night today was honestly so exhausting i'm just at my parents house right now because i have to grab a couple things so i'm just gonna sleep over tonight just to make it easier just because i think i already said this but i'm moving all of my stuff into my parents house i just have to drop a couple things off and just sleep here tonight and then more moving tomorrow but honestly moving is just so exhausting you don't even realize how much stuff you have until you move like i have cleaned out my stuff before and i thought that i decluttered but you really don't realize how much stuff you have until you actually have to physically put it away in boxes and transport it. We have a two-bedroom apartment and I'm just like amazed by how much stuff we have. It's so crazy because I feel like we just moved out of here and I just moved everything out of my room and now we're moving everything back like for the time being. But anyways, I'm just unwinding for the night. I'm just about to take a shower because I am honestly so sweaty right now. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys um, my hair care routine because I've gotten a lot of questions on what i do for my hair pre-wash so what i do is i go in and i apply like a hair oil and i just like apply that directly to my scalp and then what i've been doing is i've been going in with this scalp massager this is actually a little device from scalp hero it's an electronical scalp massager if you're anything like me and you want to grow out your hair i've been using the scalp massager and it's supposed to help you have longer shinier healthy hair because your hair growth stems from your scalp and it's so important to keep your scalp healthy and to massage it it's like essential for hair growth because it stimulates the blood flow and the circulation in your scalp which in turn leads to hair growth i swear my hair already seems healthier and longer from it it is also just so relaxing and after a long day of moving this is just amazing the scalp massaging technique goes back like thousands of years in ayurvedic medicine i love doing this like right before my shower or sometimes i'll actually do it in the shower because it's also completely waterproof and one thing that's so good about it is it doesn't even tangle my hair it also has a red light on it which helps reduce inflammation irritation and itchiness on the scalp because sometimes i'll get like really itchy patches so like the red light really helps with that but anyway so yeah scalp hero is actually giving you guys 50% off if you just go and click the link in my description for a limited time only though and they also have free worldwide shipping and you can also try it risk-free for 60 days but yeah again if you guys want to buy one link is in my description just click the link and you guys will get 50% off yeah thank you to scalp hero so much for sponsoring today's video I'm gonna go shower now I feel a lot more relaxed now I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm back at the apartment It's officially move out day, you guys. It is 9.15 right now. We're just gonna go pick up the U-Haul because we rented a U-Haul. But yeah, we're gonna go pick up some coffees before. And it's gonna be an adventure today. There's so much to do. Um, I'm not even really feeling stressed, to be honest, because- I'm feeling good today. Yeah, I'm feeling good, honestly. Like, it, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. The packing is already done, so now it's just the transporting, which is also hard, but it's like- It's the easy part. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. I'm ready to go. We'll say goodbye tomorrow. Like, we still have tonight in the apartment just secured the tim hortons and now we're gonna go get the u-haul i also put on some if you're wondering what these are on my face i got some pimple patches on i got them from amazon but they're so cute they're like little star pimple patches 
made it to the truck. Is this it, Joel? We think this one is it. Um, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's like mini size little tiny truck. I'm just waiting in the car because Joel is actually driving the U-Haul back to our place and then I'm going to drive the car. There's no chance I'm driving a U-Haul. Like, are you kidding? I can barely drive my car. Just kidding, I can drive my car. But like, driving bigger cars scares me because it's just so scary. Because they're so huge and it's like you feel like you're gonna hit everything. So he's gonna drive the U-Haul while I drive my little car. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I'm just waiting for him and then we're gonna drive home together so that we can just stay together and then start moving, start the hard stuff. We have the elevator booked for 11 o'clock actually. It's currently 10.15, so things are getting moving. to three o'clock to do that we were only allowed to book the elevator for two hours but honestly we just went like two hours overtime and they didn't say anything but it was fine but anyways so yeah it's pouring snow right now like of course it's snowing when we're trying to move and it's the end of february like what is going on but we're making it work currently 3 11 we have to return the truck by 6 45 so i think we're gonna make it right on time hopefully have lots of time to spare but we have been exerting so much energy moving what do you want for dinner tonight i guess we could just buy something we can order get some sushi or some shit yeah it's so crazy how fast time went by today like i feel like it was just 11 o'clock and i look at the time and it's like already three but anyways keep you guys updated you guys the place is completely cleaned out look at how nice it looks i don't know if i let you guys know but we're actually selling the couch just because he was looking to buy a couch and it was kind of perfect so we're selling it to him it's so sad to say goodbye to this couch because this is honestly the best couch ever and it just like fits the unit so well so honestly i'm kind of happy we're leaving it for the unit because it just looks so good in here but yeah look at everything it's all empty and clean like when we first rented it like oh my goodness everything is just so empty the bedroom he's also taking um the nightstands and the bed frame so that's why there's nothing left in here bathroom is all empty this will be the last time that i'm filming in here this is so sad oh my god i know i never did an apartment tour like a furnished apartment tour but that's because i honestly feel like i never really finished everything because i don't know we just literally moved in like exactly a year ago so you know how things work but literally so empty it's crazy damn this is so weird <laughs> this is so insane 
saying though, this is our last moments in this apartment. He was supposed I to can't. be here five minutes ago. Yay! I can't fathom it. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like we're leaving today. It doesn't. It, it just doesn't, doesn't feel like I'm never gonna come back here. No, it just feels super clean in here. I'm like, yeah, we did a good job cleaning. <laughs> this is my last time filming in this kitchen. I'm actually so sad. You know how many videos were made in this kitchen? I'm never gonna see this kitchen again in my life. You guys, I'm so like, I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Like, I feel like I'm just dreaming because it only starts to feel real after the fact. Like, while I'm moving out, like physically while I'm leaving the place, that's when it really hits. And so it hasn't really hit me until this moment right now, if I'm honest. And up until now, it honestly didn't feel real. Like it didn't feel like this was actually going to happen. And now that it's actually happening, I don't know how to think. Like my heart is just, I was so stressed out today because there was just so much to do and like finishing everything, cleaning everything. I was so stressed. And now it's like, okay, I have a moment to just breathe and a moment to just think and yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like this is, this is just, it feels like a chapter is closing. It just felt like yesterday this chapter was opening for us and that's why it's just crazy the way that life works and how fast time flies by. And honestly, the best advice that I can give anybody is just like be present in every single moment, appreciate every phase of your life because before you know it, that phase is gonna come to an end and you're gonna be in the next phase. So you really have to appreciate every single moment of your life because you're gonna miss it when it's over. And in the present moment, you almost don't realize how good it is. And then once it's over, you're like, damn, I could have appreciated this a little more, you know what I mean? So that's why you have to really appreciate everything in the moment. It's just so important too. This is so insane. Like I can't even describe this feeling right now. I feel sad. But I it had to be done. Yeah, it had to be done. I feel excited, I feel sad. There's just so many emotions right now. I don't even know what to think. Literally just leave me I'm ready to go though. I'm, I'm ready to go because I know that this is like the right decision and I know that like we're trusting the universe with this one and I know it's the right decision but just like we could have stayed here like we couldn't have technically but like we could have stayed in, in the this, area in this chapter of our life for three more years yeah at will easily. like meaning like we could have gotten into a, a different apartment in the area like we could have basically just like but we're choosing to do something completely different completely. so that's all like we could get literally this exact same life and it would just be inconvenient that we have to move. Yeah, exactly. We could just literally relocate here and that's it. We're changing things up big time. Because now is the time. I mean, we're 22. Now is the time to do what we want with our lives because when's a better time? Everybody on the deathbed, that's their, always their best advice is do anything you want to do when you're young. Like, just do it. Like, don't ever hesitate. So we're not hesitating. We're it's just tough, living though, our lives. Out of our personalities, like, this is something that, like, we don't necessarily prefer to do. It's like having a home base. There's so much comfort in that. And it's like having your stuff all in one place. There's so much comfort in that. Staying in the area, there's so much comfort in that. But it's like, in order to grow, we have to step out of your comfort zone. And we've stepped out of our comfort zone so much within the past few years. Ever since starting this YouTube channel, dropping out of school, moving into this apartment. That was all us stepping out of our comfort zone. And this now, I feel like it's just- This is the just, biggest step. This bro. is the biggest this step. This is like a full, like there's no more comfort. There's nothing. When we moved here, that this was a big risk. Yeah. It, like every time we do something, it's a risk in the moment. But like- We grow into it fast. Yeah. But like now if we were to get a new place like in the area and like basically just move all our furniture and stuff, it wouldn't level us up at all no. because we would just be staying stagnant. And like I said, like I've been feeling super stagnant and I knew that this was a sign once again from the universe telling us like, look, this is your next step. We needed to get kicked out because if we weren't like, if I had to rewrite the script, it would be exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. I want to be kicked out. Yeah. I wouldn't want to have the choice. No. See, we don't even have the choice. Okay, we do have a choice. But particularly, we have to had to leave this specific unit. Mm -hmm. Insane, you guys. It's February 28th today, by the way. Just marking the calendar. We moved in exactly a year ago today. See, that's why you have to trust the universe. Because if somebody showed us a clip of exactly what's happening today, of us moving back. I'd only think of the bad scenario. Exactly. Like, oh, shit. Something happened. I would never happened. think that like, it could have been, been doing that like, and it'd be a good thing. Yeah, and we wouldn't we wouldn't have moved in if we saw that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I'd be too scared. Yeah, because we would have been like, oh shit, we messed up. I'm like lost for words right now. Just like, this is our last few moments. He was supposed to be here like 10 minutes ago. No, you guys. That's a joke. That's a joke. You're kidding me. Proof in the pudding right here. We just randomly go to check the clock after what we were saying and it's 444. And we haven't looked at our phones in like so long. And 444, you guys, is my number. Like it's the number that the universe gives me every single time shit like this happens. When I dropped out of school two years ago, I said, we want to hit 100K on YouTube and then we want to go travel the world. But it's like, when we were working towards it, all we could think about was like an apartment. 
Mm -hmm. but like the original manifestation is happening like that full full circle moment so like you got to shoot for the stars and it's gonna happen but you have to like you have to think about it and like it's gonna be in the future so like you got to shoot way bigger than you ever imagined because yeah. like if you're following the universe you're gonna level up way faster mm -hmm. than you imagine like this phase of my life I would have said when I move into the apartment we're probably gonna stay here for three years and like just live in this chapter for three years because we're wanting more and there's things we want to level up in our life like changes have to happen you can't have this and level up you have to like let go of things yeah you have to, to let up. go in order to get that next next phase so like if you have life. a closet if you want new clothes you gotta get rid of some old ones to make it fit exactly and it's, it's like, you, like you can't that. have your cake and eat it no, Basically. it doesn't always feel sunshine and rainbows. Exactly. It's like, this is uncomfortable for us. We're literally, had, we just have to, we're moving out of this unit. But like, that's very uncomfortable. This is our comfort zone. And we're moving somewhere unit. extremely uncomfortable. Exactly. Very uncomfortable. And our best advice is follow your dreams because this apartment was our biggest dream at one point. And look where we are now. And we're, it's just like, there's no, there's no story with the apartment. It's like, think about when you're like a grandpa and you're like telling your kids shit. You're not going to be like, oh, I moved into my dream apartment and we lived happily ever after. It's like, there can be a thousand other stages to that. There's always a story. You could keep going always. It's like, we could stop here and we could live our entire life for the rest of our life in an apartment like this and live this life. Yeah. But it's like, now that we're here, it's like, we realize we want more. We want, we like, want more to life. It's like, we just want more. at one point, this is all we basically, basically I thought. I thought if we had this, yeah. When I was living at your parents' house yeah. and we had nothing and we were just going for walks, like talking about the it. Manifestation walks. Yeah, like this right here is all that I want. I thought if I had this, like I'm like my life's work is accomplished. This was our dream at one point. This was all basically that we wanted was yeah. our own apartment like this. Now we have it and we want more and it's like you gotta step out of your comfort zone to get that more. Like I'm sad to leave it. I'm sad to be stepping out, but I know that like when we get back in like our comfort zone, it's gonna be like everything that we're manifesting for that now. It's kind of like, it's kind of weird how like it happens. By the time you get something, it has to be normal. So it's not like, you're not like excited. Like you think about, when you think about your manifestations, if you think that like, that's like winning the lottery and you're gonna react like that to you're it, not it's a like you're, you're not close to getting that. You're not a vibrational match to it. Cause how, how we got this apartment was we, yeah. because we were a vibrational match to it at that point. And yes, we were like so, this was still very new to us and we were so excited to get it. But we were manifesting it so much that it was basically just was like normal. normal almost like I was excited about it and It was really fun to like shop around for the furniture and everything But it's like at the same time It's like after a day it felt so normal because we were already at that vibration and that's how we ended up getting yeah. it And the same thing for like your 100k. It's like yeah, I thought that when you hit your 100k we're going crazy. Like, like that's all that we like wanted. we won the lottery, but it's like when you hit 100K, it made no difference because you're at 80K and 90K and it's like you're basically there. Yeah, and like, it took so much work to get to that 100K that it's like when I was at zero subscribers, hitting 100K, like if I just went from zero to 100 in one day, oh my God, that would have just been so crazy and amazing for me. But since it happened gradually and those manifestations played out into real time, it's like, it's like since I was already I was already vibrational match to it by the time it happened and that's why it happened mm -hmm. And so it's like when you manifest things into your life You almost don't realize it sometimes because you become a vibrational match to it So it's not like a big deal or as big of a deal, you know And then you just cause that's why you kind of got to sit back and think sometimes like how much have I manifested in my life? Like look around you and look at how much you've manifested because sometimes you don't realize until you sit down and look around you Because it just becomes the norm I think the easiest way to manifest something is just write what you want to manifest on a piece of paper and then write like, I want to dedicate 30 minutes to that every day and just take the next best step. And that's it's it. If you want to be a YouTuber, like just work on YouTube videos for an hour every day and you will be a YouTuber. But you just can never quit and that's it. You have to put action towards it every day and never quit. It doesn't have to be like 10 hours a day either. It can be 20 minutes a day. Yeah. You're just paving that pathway. Ooh. Okay, let me go pee. Let me fill